Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check another watch from Polet International Company but this time we have a slightly different model, it's called the Bolshoi Vintage and I suggest we start with unboxing and then gradually we will check whole watch. the main feature of this watch is this large squarish case and the same applies to the dial because as you can see it mimics the shape of the case and creates this classic look which reminds of watches from 70s and 80s. What I have here is the special version with a green dial. I'll remove the film so that we can check it closer you saw it also in the unboxing of course there will be some detail shots which will be showing it in a bit more zoomed in way but what I can say is that uh, here we have a really unusual shade of uh, green because it's a deep shade deep color which looks really nice on the bright color so we have a sun ray finish here but it's not as prominent as on some other dials from different brands yeah, you can see it only on the really bright light and you have to get the right angle in order to catch this nice effect and note that sun ray finish is separate for the main plate and for the second dial with the second syndicator which is also quite a nice touch which adds a bit of in visual interest and makes the whole composition slightly less strict. Next interesting thing is digits. So here we have really large digits. The only number which is cut here is number 6 because it is neighboring the second dial so that's why it had to be cut off. But we have them finished in this nice classic look with a yellowish shade. And this is a luminous material, the same applies to the hands we have a standard double hand set because we again we have a separate second syndicator and all this looks really nice so we have a only Paliot logo on the top no other writings at all only made in Germany at 6 o'clock and that's pretty much all you get on the dial and I think that's the main beauty of this watch that the whole design is not interrupted with any additional writings, there is no feature set written on the dial, there is no additional uh, signs, etc, etc. It's just a clean dial which looks as close as it is possible to classic watches from 70s and 80s as I said before. And whole dial is covered with a sapphire glass so we shouldn't be worried about any possible damage. Here it is not a plain surfaced glass, you can see that it's slightly concaved, I will try to show it on the video with help of macro lenses, but it also fits the overall image and I'm glad that we do not have a plain part here because it would be a completely dull image of the whole watch. As I said, there is also luminous material applied to the digits and to the hands. It's not a diver watch obviously, but it's more than enough to see the right position of the hands in a dark time and I don't think you will have any issues with this feature of the watch. we can move on to the case. So with case we have quite an interesting situation because on the website it's mentioned that well we have a squarish case so that's why dimensions are measured as a 38.5 by 38.5 
so it's a 38.5 square and it is not a small watch so do not underestimate it as you can see it has its presence on the wrist so if you have a thin wrist definitely think it over and maybe it would be a wise idea to order it with a textile strap then maybe you have a chance to get it around your wrist but with metal bracelet I'm more than sure that it's more suitable for average sized and large wrist which will be feeling comfortable with this watch. Another notable thing about this watch case is that we do not have any polished surfaces on the sides as you can see it's a brushed metal surface and that's really cool because I like when watch is a bit more durable and I would say more ready for everyday life and it won't be scratched after one day of wearing this watch on your hand. Note that with this 38.5 mm size thickness is only 10.4 mm so it's not that thick and you can notice it on this pouch. In my opinion that's also the main feature or quite important feature of this watch because it makes it a bit more comfortable to wear and it doesn't protrude from your wrist and therefore you can easily hide it under the sleeve. Of course it is difficult to miss the large crown here on the classic position of 3 o'clock and we have also Palot International logo on it. There is a circular engraving on the top and the only thing which is a bit annoying to me is that again you have to put a slight pressure and try to catch this crown with your nails otherwise it's nearly impossible because it sits flush from the bottom but as I said it's large part so it will be really easy to adjust the time and you will have to interact with it really often so here we can go on to what is hidden inside this watch so inside we have a hand winding caliber 2760 and power reserve is only 36 hours. So definitely you will be interacting with watch on daily basis because you will have to wind it. And that's why I'm saying that it will be a bit tricky to catch this crown with fingers. So be ready for that. As you can see I'm doing it almost with edges of my fingers because otherwise it's nearly impossible to rotate it on the watch it's doable but it's somewhat clumsy and i would recommend to try it if you have a chance maybe your local watch dealer has this watch in stock so definitely try it in person movement is also visible through the rear cover so if i remove this pouch you will be able to see it through the special open window and here it is really beautiful because we have a special finish with golden and silver parts we have 19 rubies inside so all in all it's a really beautiful thing to look at and I'm glad that it's done this way it's not a skeleton dial on this watch designers decided to stay in a classic borders of the watch design and it looks just right in place I mean you will have a small secret on your wrist and it will be visible only to you that you have a small open window on the case back. we can move to the bracelet and here I should say that I intentionally did not remove any plastic wrapping from this part why I wanted to show you that this part is carefully packed so you, it won't arrive to you in a scratched condition and it's truly important because we have a mix of various polishing finishes here we have the mirror polishing and also the brushed polishing surface and also here we have a Paliot logo on the clasp. It's really high quality bracelet, it's heavy and you can feel the metal inside so uh, here I have nothing to say. Maybe you will have to shorten it a bit so I will show you uh, the standard version which is 
a watch from straight out of the factory and you can see that I have plenty of space on my wrist but it's it will be a bit tricky to find the right size because from what I can see it should be two or one link from each side removed in order to fit my wrist and note that each link is also polished from the edges so here it will be a really tricky thing because you have to be extra careful in order to preserve these parts in a fine condition of course we do not have anything spare there is no textile strap which can be used as an alternative and there is also no quick release bar inside so you have to have a special tools in order to change this strap if you are fan of changing the straps on your watch weekly or maybe monthly basis as for the day-to-day -day basis it's really great watch to wear but with one condition that you have average size wrist or maybe even bigger otherwise it's a bit tricky thing because of its size and you can't avoid it and as i said maybe a textile belt will be helpful in this but i really doubt it so if you have a chance to try it first definitely do so and maybe measure your wrist and try to understand whether it will be easy to fit a 38.5 mm square on your wrist. Quality wise it is visible that we have a notable improvement here over let's say first examples from the same trademark so uh, the case quality, the bracelet quality and overall dial finish they look impressive and I wouldn't say that this watch costs as much as it does it looks like a bit more expensive product and that's definitely an advantage there are a lot of us who like good looking things properly made so this is definitely one of them so the price of this watch of this particular version is 700 euros there will be cheaper versions there will be a bit more expensive versions in my opinion it's quite a reasonable amount considering that we have a handmade watch we have it in a quite special finish we have a metal bracelet and we have a custom movement inside with a hand winding so there are a lot of fans who like or prefer modifications with a hand winding inside so this is might be a good addition to their collection definitely keep in mind the power reserve 36 hours is there is no point in hiding it you have to wind it up daily and you can't avoid it so definitely think about it but all in all i think that's a really decent proposal for its money and again you can get it even cheaper if you are fine with slightly different dial and maybe with absence of the metal bracelet so definitely consider it and check the Poliot International website they have direct sales so you can order it directly from their website and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye Don't leave me high and dry